40. Amy Coney Barrett Biography, 1972. Amy Coney Barrett served as a law professor and appeals court judge prior to being chosen as a U.S. Supreme Court Justice in October 2020. Who is Amy Coney Barrett? Amy Coney Barrett was a top trainee at Notre Dame Law School prior to returning to her alma mater to become a prominent professor. After three years on the bench for the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, the conservative judge was nominated by President Donald Trump to replace recently deceased Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the U.S. Supreme Court in September 2020. The Senate confirmed her to the Supreme Court in October 2020. Early Years in Education Barrett was born Amy Vivian Coney on January 28, 1972, in New Orleans, Louisiana, the oldest of seven kids. Her dad, Mike, worked as an attorney for Shell Oil, while her mom, Linda, was a French instructor. Raised in the rural community of Old Metairie, the future judge got a Catholic education at St. Catherine of Siena Grade School and St. Mary's Dominican High School, where she was called Class Vice President. Barrett signed up with the ranks of Phi Beta Kappa at Tennessee's Rhodes College, finishing Magna Orgasm Laude with a BA in English Literature in 1994. She then graduated summa cum laude from Notre Dame Law School in 1997, where earned she made the Hoynes Prize as the leading trainee in her class and acted as executive editor of the Notre Dame Law Review. Early Legal Career Post-graduation, Barrett clerked for Judge Lawrence Silverman of the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit, followed by a year in the very same capability for Supreme Court Associate Justice and conservative icon Antonin Scalia. Barrett signed up with the distinguished Washington, D.C., law firm of Miller, Cassidy, LaRocca and Lewin in 1999, before making the pivot to academic community in 2001 with a stint as the John M. Olin Fellow at Law at George Washington University Law School. Notre Dame Law Professor Barrett returned to Notre Dame Law School as an assistant teacher in 2002, ultimately becoming a full-tenured professor renowned for her competence in the topics of federal courts, constitutional law and statutory interpretation. She was thrice voted Distinguished Professor of the Year and held the Diane and M. O. Miller Research Chair of Law from 2014-17. Barrett likewise began developing a nationwide profile throughout these years for her staunch conservative and Catholic beliefs. In 2012, she signed a statement that slammed President Barack Obama's Affordable Care Act ACA, mandate that contraceptives be covered by health insurance plans as a severe violation of spiritual flexibility. Three years later, she signed a letter to Catholic bishops that praised the worth of human life from conception to natural death and family based on the indissoluble commitment of a man and a female, Seventh Circuit Appeals Court. In May 2017, Barrett was chosen by President Trump for a seat on U.S. Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, which covers Illinois, Indiana, and Wisconsin. The September verification hearing made headlines for Democratic efforts to determine whether the nominee would be unduly influenced by her religious beliefs, with California Senator Dianne Feinstein asserting at one point that the dogma lives loudly within you. Barrett was eventually validated in October 2017 by a 55 to 43 vote, with Democrats Tim Kaine, Joe Manchin and Joe Donnelly crossing the aisle to give their support. Viewpoints and Interpretations During her three years on the Seventh Circuit bench, Judge Barrett authored roughly 100 opinions that bolstered her reputation as a textualist and originalist in the mold of her mentor, Scalia. Second Amendment Rights In 2019's Canterbury, Barr, Barrett was the lone voice of dissent in a decision that restricted a male convicted of a white-collar crime from having a firearm. Founding legislatures did not strip felons of the right to bear arms merely due to the fact that of their status as felons, he wrote. Migration Barrett again descended the list below year when Cook County v. Wolf promoted the clog of Trump's public charge guideline that made it difficult for immigrants depending on public assistance to earn green cards. Explaining the administration's position is not unreasonable, Barrett firmly insisted the courts were not the automobile for solving controversial policy conflicts. Additionally, the judge has used her ideas on key legal and political matters through her writing and speeches. Stare decisis. In a 2013 law evaluation post, Barrett stated that she was not beholden to the doctrine of stare decisis, which asks a court to follow the precedents embedded in comparable cases. I tend to agree with those who say that a justice's responsibility is to the Constitution and that it is thus more legitimate for her to impose her finest understanding of the Constitution rather than a precedent she thinks plainly in dispute with it," she wrote. Abortion Barrett's view of stare decisis has fueled critics who think she plans to overturn the 1973 Roe v. Wade choice that legislated abortion. The pro-life judge has actually spoken at length on the intricacy of the subject, 
from the knowledge of enabling non-elected judicial consultations to decide the issue to the process of avoiding public funding for abortions, though she kept in mind in a 2013 lecture that it was unlikely the landmark ruling would be reversed. Economical Care Act In a 2017 short article, Barrett slammed Chief Justice John Roberts promoting of the ACA by defining the financial penalty imposed on those without medical insurance as a tax. Chief Justice Roberts pushed the Affordable Care Act beyond its possible meaning to conserve the statute, she composed. Supreme Court Nomination and Election On September 26, 2020, President Trump nominated Barrett to replace just recently deceased liberal trailblazer Ginsburg on the U.S. Supreme Court, calling Barrett a woman of exceptional accomplishment, towering intellect, sterling credentials, and unyielding loyalty to the Constitution, as it was Trump's third Supreme Court election, after Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. The selection even more charged a currently controversial election year battle between the president and his Democratic challenger Joe Biden. Four years previously, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell had actually refused to hold hearings for Obama's Supreme Court nominee, Merrick Garland, on the premises that the public must be enabled input by voting for the next president. This time, nevertheless, McConnell and his Republican colleagues set the verification procedure in movement with Election Day simply weeks away. On October 22, the Senate Judiciary Committee voted all to advance Barrett's nomination to the Supreme Court, and on October 26, she was verified to the Supreme Court in a 52-48 vote, strengthening the court's conservative bulk. She was sworn in by Justice Clarence Thomas. Other Half and Family Barrett has seven children with her partner, Jesse, a fellow Notre Dame alum and former federal district attorney. Two of their kids are embraced from Haiti and their youngest child has Down syndrome, organizations and person. Barrett has actually been involved with the Federalist Society, the American Law Institute and the Notre Dame Anti-Abortion Group Faculty for Life. In addition, she and her spouse are reported to be members of People of Praise, a Christian group in which followers comply with a long-lasting covenant of commitment and into spiritual consultants to make personal choices. A citizen of South Bend, Indiana, throughout her years as a law professor, Barrett signed up with the board at South Bend's Trinity School at Grinlaw and was referred to as a dedicated fan of the Notre Dame football team.